Speaking about all that, <laughs> how about we taste some of this amazing food? So something else that a lot of people don't know about you that I found quite incredibly impressive is that you do a lot of motivational talks. I actually do, yeah. Who do you do them to and, and why do you do them? So because of, of the line of work, I mean, you travel a lot. So I saw kind of a gap in the market. There's very, uh, underprivileged schools, underprivileged communities. Yeah. So sometimes you don't have resources like money or food. I mean, so I thought, what can I give back and inspiration, motivation, just tell the kids that you yeah. mean something, you can do something, speak about a bit about myself, you know, how you have to achieve sometimes yourself. Yeah. So I do it a lot um, in, in the Eastern Cape, Western Cape and um, Southern Cape. And I do it sometimes with uh, Theodore Yankees as well. Who's, who's on oh, yeah. So I feel it, it's needed and we're working on something bigger to, to, to have more impact. So yeah, I think that's, that's one of my goals in life is to, to give back more in terms of motivation, inspiration, try and help the kids. Because yeah. um, there's a lot of potential, but if you don't inspire them, it's going nowhere. What's <coughs> been the biggest or most important lesson in your life that you've ever learned? The most important lesson for me, uh, it's been an ongoing struggle for years. Um, it's accepting your potential and just going with it. Because mm. a lot of times you grow up and you see people around you and you, you think you can't achieve something because it's so far. I mean, if you sit, when I sat, sat at high school and I think about, I want to win an Oscar, I want to do that, it seems so far. But as soon as you do the little work, daily, yeah. daily, monthly, weekly, and you look back, I drove the other morning and I thought to myself, wow, I actually came a, f a long way since where yeah. I was. And um, it's because I trust myself now. I didn't, yeah. in, in, in the past, I was, I was kind of a, a rebel, not a kid, more a young man, yeah. angry at life, why not this, why this? And then I decided the only one who can make a change is myself, nobody else. Anyone yeah. else can do stuff around me, but I need to make the change from within. That's an amazing lesson. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being such an inspiration, such a great help in the kitchen. <laughs> and best of luck with your career and your motivational talks. It's a huge pleasure having you here. Thank you so much. Donkey. Thank you. Can't wait to be on Stephen Delan. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us at home as well. It's been real. Tomorrow we chat to Senamile Masango, the first black female nuclear physicist. We also celebrating World Environment Day. So until then, good night, God bless and happy eating.